Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bonnie and welcome to Bonnie Beauty Hub. So today I'm gonna to talk about a $13 foundation. It's from Makeup Revolution. So before I start talking about this foundation, let me give you a backstory. I'm gonna keep it short, I promise. I did a full day wear test. I wore it for nine hours. I did the entire wear test. But then just before the weekend when I went to edit the video, I realized my mic was not plugged in properly and the volume is off. And because it was a lot of explanation and it was a lengthy video, it's not possible for me to do a voiceover. But I thought, okay, so why? I have done the full day wear test. So instead of giving you a 15 to 17 minutes video for you to go through the entire day with me, now that I've already worn it, just let me give you a quick review. Let me tell you how I feel about this foundation. Packaging, let's start with the packaging. Amazing packaging. It is a frosted glass bottle. It comes with a pump. It looks very simple, cute, top-notch packaging, very nice packaging. Let me tell you the name of the foundation first. It is from Makeup Revolution. It is the IRL Filter Longwear Foundation Breathable Soft Matte. So this is a 16 hour wear. The maximum I've worn this is for 10 to 11 hours. Uh, after my first day wear test, it wore so amazing. I wore it for eight to nine hours, but then over the weekend, I wore it again and again because we had a lot of functions going on. It's that time of the year where all the functions have begun. The festivities, I mean. So yeah, I did wear it for more than 12 hours and it is long wearing. However, you will have to do a touch up if you have super duper oily skin, there would be a little bit of oiliness peeking through by the end of the six to seven hour mark. So all you can do is just you use your beauty sponge or a sponge like this, just tap away the excess oil peeking through from your skin and you are good to go. It will last for another six hours. It is amazing. If you feel your skin is too, too oily, then you can uh, set it with a little bit of powder, but I don't set my skin with powder. So it gives a little bit of sheen and that is why I think they call it a soft matte because it's not that type of matte that just sucks up all the oil and life from your skin and make you look so dead and dried out. So this is soft matte, so it gives you a little bit of life. It gives you a little bit of plumpiness. At the same time, it keeps your skin matte. So it is a very amazing finish. So I would say this is definitely a very good foundation for oily skin gals, but I also feel that dry skin can get away using this foundation. All you need to do is just add a drop of oil to this when applying the foundation and it'll give a little more healthiness to the foundation. It would not dry out on your skin. The formulation is amazing. It is. It has a very creamy formulation. The color I wore was F12. It's not an exact perfect match, but it's good. It's good enough. So you can see it is a very, very creamy formulation. My God, I just hope you could feel it. And normally when it's a matte foundation, it oxidizes on my skin, but this is a matte foundation that does not oxidize at all. It blends really well and any other product that I use on top of it blends well as well. I've tried cream products and powder products and everything blends absolutely beautiful on this foundation. I've tried blending it with a beauty sponge and I've tried it with a brush. The best I feel is a brush because I liked the medium to full coverage look that it gave me. Um, if you don't want a lot of coverage, you use it with a sponge because it would shear out the coverage a little bit. And I also felt that uh, the side that I used it with a sponge, I felt that it was settling into my fine lines, but with the side that I used a brush, it did not settle into any of the fine lines. So they say it is a long wear crease proof foundation. So I would totally agree to everything. It does not settle on any of my fine lines on the forehead or my smile lines. And it gives me an amazing finish by the end of the day. Another bonus is it's vegan and cruelty free. This doesn't have a lot of skincare ingredients, but for $13, it has niacinamide in it, which is the second best ingredients as per me. My first favorite is hyaluronic acid. This has niacinamide, which niacinamide also helps with anti-aging. 
it brightens your skin so it helps with any acne scars or any hyperpigmentation you have sunspots so it brightens your skin eventually so beautiful youthful healthy brightened skin with just a $13 foundation and I'm totally totally in love with this now Everything about the foundation is good, however, one drawback is it has only 16 shades. So just because it's $13, we can say that it's better for you to buy two shades and try to mix and then find your perfect shade, but I, I don't know. I think that the hype is real for this foundation, it's amazing, so I wish Makeup Revolution comes up with more shades on these because it's totally worth it. They need to come up with more shades with this foundation. So the only drawback is the shade range. Otherwise, it's an amazing foundation. I totally love it and it's a total thumbs up from my side. If you have tried this foundation, let me know how you feel about it. But that is it from my side. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching till the end and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.